All right, Matt. Matthew. Uh, yeah, I want to bring up uh, spooky, evil, big oil record profits. Um, yes, I know you did I love, show up. I love profits. Record yeah, profits get, even better than ordinary profits. Yeah, get your ghost emoji ready. Here we go. Um, <laughs> so you did a show on on gas prices, oil prices. Um, yep. I, just, I don't recall in the show that you ever really went into you know, oil prices um, and record profits versus profit margin. Um, can you dig into that and how, you know, maybe you could have record profits, but have a lower profit margin than maybe the year prior or in the past and just kind of dive into that for a little bit here? Yeah, I mean, it's 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 important that we differentiate between who we're talking about, right? Because all companies is they do a lot of different things, different activities have different profit margins, have different levels of profit. Um, so let's let's start from the end of the of the supply chain. So let's start with the uh, with the refiners, not the end of the supply chain, but from an oil company perspective, the end of the supply chain. I guess you could start with the with the um, uh, with the uh, the guy pump, you know, the store, the, the place where you pump the gas. But but the refiners, um, I, I don't think necessarily are having, uh, so, so here's the thing with the refiners. They have to pay very high prices for the oil that they refine because the fundamental price that has gone up is not the refined oil, it's the underlying uh, commodity, it is the oil itself, the oil being pumped out of the ground. That's the price that's gone up. Um, and it's gone up because the supply of that has been constrained. So there's, there's, a, there's a limited supply, lots of demand by people like refiners. So the refiners are paying, what, 120, 110 bucks a gallon for the oil coming into the refinery. And then they add they mark up to that when they sell it to the gas stations. Now, the refining, the refiners right now are refining at basically full capacity. So again, there is a constraint, there's a constraint on supply. And demand is right, is is high. It's, it's higher right now because it's summer season. It's higher right now because we're out of COVID and people are traveling more. So it's much higher than usual than it has been in the last couple of years. Um, and yet the refining capacity hasn't increased to a large extent because of not in my backyard, because for environmental reasons, all kinds of stuff like that. The capacity of the refiners, including the fact that they shut down some capacity uh, during COVID, again, because of the war on fossil fuels, who the hell wants to invest in more capacity? So the fact is that they now have some pricing power. So they can mark up the price of gasoline more than they have been able to in the past. Um, they don't want to mark it up too much because then people will actually not drive and they don't want demand to collapse. But they can, they can jack it up a little bit so that their profit margin, which the profit margin is the difference between revenue and expenses, divided by right so that's the that's the profit divided by revenue I think I think profit margin is profit divided by revenue right so it's a, it's a gap between profit and, it's probably pretty high right now I don't know if it's historically high I don't know if it's a record high but it's pretty high even at the refinery level just again you've got a lot of demand limited supply opportunity for producers to increase prices now what about what about the oil that they get? So one step backwards, and it's not just one step because there are multiple steps, there's delivery, but one step backwards, the oil coming out of the ground. Why is oil at $110 a barrel when it costs to actually take it out of the ground? It costs the Saudis, God, I, I can't remember the numbers, but something like 10 bucks. So for Saudi, because the Saudi oil fields are shallow, they don't have to frack, fracking is expensive. It's relatively easy for the U.S. I think for frackers in the U.S. Again, I might be these numbers might be wrong, but they're not hugely wrong. It probably costs forty bucks, thirty bucks, forty bucks to take the oil out of the ground, right? So you can see that the Saudis are running pretty cool profit margins, right? Cost them ten bucks to take it out of the ground. They're selling it for one hundred and ten. They got a hundred dollar profit margin, and uh, the frackers are doing pretty well. Uh, it costs them. 
40 bucks a ticket out of the ground, let's say, and they're selling it for 110. So they're making a good profit margin. Um, and that's where the historical profits are showing up. All companies who are pumping oil out of the ground, wherever it is around the world, they're selling at a higher rate significantly than what it costs them to get it out of the ground. Again, the reason for that is um, the fact that we have not significantly increased uh, oil production in the world over the last few years. Indeed, we've seen uh, a shrinkage in the amount of money going to oil production, going to drilling for oil, and, 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 and not investing in equipment and not investing in forming companies. And the reason for that is, why would I invest in drilling um, a well that will have to be producing for five, 10 years for me to really, you know, really make money to justify the investment, right? Because remember, these profits are on annual revenue. They don't, they don't include the capital expenses that went into drilling the wells, right? That's a separate calculation. So I have to pay back the capital expenses. When your profit margins are high, you can pay it back faster. But I'm not going to drill a new well unless I'm convinced that it, it can pump oil for the next five, 10 years. But when I have ESG, and 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 the president of the United States and pretty much and my investors all saying no more oil. We're going to stop producing oil in the United States. We're not going to let you drill. We're not going to let you do this stuff. I'm not going to invest. So typically, what would happen is prices go up. I make a lot of money. I invest in into drilling more holes. I pump more oil. Supply catches up to demand, and prices start dropping. But they're not going to drop now. Because nobody has an incentive to drill more oil in, in the free world. And we kind of boycotting everybody in the unfree world. But of course, the unfree world um, is restrained. Okay, Russia's oil shows up in the global markets. But it's not, it doesn't have the capital to invest in new oil production. The Saudis don't want to invest in more oil production because they run a cartel that, you know, that, that is basically holding prices high. And, uh, and, and uh, they can turn it on and off based on their own. So they're not driven by economics. The only entity that can actually increase all supply in the world significantly is the United States right now. And nobody's interested, right? So other countries could too, right? You, the, Europe could fra start fracking, God forbid, right? Europeans start fracking and actually joining the world supply of carbon fuels, but they won't. Um, we could see fracking in other parts of the world. It's not going to happen because of the environmentalists. So all of this, so all companies have historical profits. And the, and the reason for that is environmentalism. And the whole, and, and the cartel, right? I mean, it's OPEC's doing this, right? OPEC could increase the supply of oil tomorrow like that. But it, it doesn't want to. It likes these high oil prices. Uh, the reason Biden is going to go to Saudi Arabia and dance with the princes and grovel and bow and I don't know, kiss their feet or whatever you need to do is to get them to open the spigot because for them, it's just the spigot. Again, oil in Saudi Arabia and generally in that area in the Middle East is very shallow, very easy to get to, and they can produce as much as, so they could lower the price of oil quite a bit in the world markets if they decided they wanted to do that. All right, thank you. Sure. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making an appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see The Iran Brooks Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.